with the meta title and meta description, it's probably important that you understand, if you don't already, you understand what they are. When somebody searches in Google, it pulls up the meta title tag and the meta description tag. The blue bit at the top, the bit that you click on here, that's the meta title tag. And the black bit underneath, this bit here, is the meta description tag. And as you can see here, they, their meta title tag here, which is a terrible one, is too long and it's been truncated as you can see there, dot, dot, dot. That's why it needs to be a maximum of 70 characters. And this one here, meta description, again, has been truncated. Sometimes Google will use the one you suggest, sometimes they won't. Uh, but most of the time they will. So you need to make sure that it stays within the limit of 156 characters. And the meta, so the meta description, 156, and the meta title, just 70 characters. Now, let me just explain, uh, I'll show you a good, well, there's a bad one, you can see that already, but I'll show you another bad one versus a good one. Say you were selling netbooks, for example, or you're trying to sell netbooks, and you wanted to create a meta title and a meta description. Here's a bad one. As you can see there, it says HP Netbook, buy HP Netbook, cheapest HP Netbook price. And you've probably seen some titles like this and they're just not appealing to the human. And they've been put there because years ago, well, not long ago actually, people would do that to get some SEO value in there. So they would stuff it with different key phrases like this one here has been stuffed with HP Netbook, buy HP Netbook and cheapest HP netbook price. And then the meta description underneath, the black bit underneath, isn't much better with cheap HP netbooks, buy HP netbooks, HP netbook sale, and price review on netbooks by HP. Now, the problem you've got here is it's not good for the human reader. It's just a load of jargon there and loads of stuffed keywords. Not only that, a meta title and meta description like that now would probably get you a penalty with Google because Google have now realized that it's not good for the internet to have all this rubbish keyword stuffed meta titles and meta descriptions. So thumbs down for one like that. A good one would be something like this. And as you can see, it fits within the 70 characters for the meta title and that is check out the HP Netbook Showdown in exclusive field test. So it's a really nice title that to get you to click on it because again, it's got a verb action in there, check out. So that kind of pulls you into it. And then if you bother to read the description and the meta description, it's got, we put seven HP netbooks through their paces to find out which is this month's netbook champion. See the quick review results here. I've spelt review wrong there, I do apologize. Again, here, you know, it's it's intriguing. It makes you want to click on it. And it's got, see the quick review results here. Again, we're using the word quick there because we know that people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. And, you know, we've pulled them in by saying it's going to be quick. It's not going to take up much of your time. And again, it's got a call to action there. See the quick review results here. Call to action, a verb action in there. So we give a real nice thumbs up for that. And you may choose to use the same meta title as your actual title of your post, or you may not. Try and keep it, you know, similar so that it's got some relevance there. So that's creating a good meta title and a good meta description. Hope you enjoyed the video.